Okay, class, this week's homework is to write about your favorite historical figure. And it must be written in pencil. Why do we have to write it in pencil? Because there weren't computers for most of history. And by the way, you all have sloppy handwriting. having homework over the weekend. Maybe we should all work together. Great idea. Maybe we could all come to my house. Okay, but do you have pencils at your house? Well, my little brother used them when he was trying to start a fire, but instead he just ended up burning all the pencils. I guess I can ask my mom if she has any extras. Okay, let's go. Why do we have to use that? Why does he care so much about pencils? Oh, I know. Hey, Mom, do we have any extra pencils? I don't know. Can you take out the trash while I look? Okay. I'll be right back. Hello, child. I overheard that you need five pencils. Here are those five pencils for you and your friends. Uh, okay, thank you so much. <laughs> Sorry, sweetie, I couldn't find any pencils. Oh, that's okay, I found some. Now let's get these essays over with. What historical figures are you guys going to do your essays on? I'm doing Alexander Graham Bell. He invented the telephone. I'm doing my essay on Albert Einstein. He's a famous physicist. I'm writing about Hedy Lamarr. She was an actress and scientist. Amelia Earhart, the first woman pilot to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean. Well, I'm doing Helen Keller. She was blind and deaf, and yet she still achieved great things. Okay, let's get writing. a famous physicist. Really? You look like a child. We all do! I think he's telling the truth. Who are you? I'm Alexander Graham Bell, inventor of the telephone. Alexander Graham Bell? It's me, Helen Keller. I can see and hear. Helen? I didn't even recognize you. I'm Amelia Earhart, one of the first women pilots. How odd. These papers are about us. Well, if the laws of physics don't change, neither do my clothes. Hey, it's breakfast. Who is that? I think we should go. Are you sure? I'm actually hungry. Let's go. <clears throat> How 
did you sleep? Uh, we slept great. Jordan, can you get your friend some spoons? Sorry, Kate, I asked my daughter to do it. Uh, sorry, Sarah, I asked Jordan. I'm just so excited that I can hear things. That's nice, Sarah. Okay, Mom, I will get the spoons because I am your daughter. Miss, uh, Jord Jordan's mom, can we be excused to go for a walk? Yes, of course, Sean. Yes, that is me, <clears throat> Sean. We have to figure out what's going on. Yes. Who's that? Uh, I think we should leave. Stop! I was the one who brought you here to keep you from doing all of your amazing things so that you don't get any recognition. Just like I, Percy Spencer, didn't get my recognition. You brought us here? How? You guys are missing the point! I can see and hear! Good for you, Lucy Lou. You are freaky. Guys, we should get out of here. Listen, buddy. Whoa! Jordan, Jordan, hi. Um, do I know you? Why are you acting so weird? You've known each other since kindergarten. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Why are you guys wearing the same clothes as yesterday? You guys are acting strange. What's going on? We are not of this future time. We are historical figures trapped in the bodies of these children. Ow, you were on your way to write the essays when we last talked to you. Really? Yeah, we had to write essays about historical figures. We have to write the essays with a pencil. And you had to get more pencils. Wait, you didn't take pencils from the guy who owns the frozen yogurt shop and hangs out in the alley, did you? I guess so. It must have cursed us. Maybe you guys switched minds with the historical figures you were researching. That would explain those papers. Wow, so you guys aren't really you? I'm Amelia Earhart. I'm Hedy Lamar. I'm Helen Keller. I can see and hear. Albert Einstein, pleased to meet you. And I'm Alexander Graham Bell. Who's that? I basically invented the telephone. Nobody uses a telephone. Everything looks so beautiful. The sky, it's really blue. And the grass, this is what green looks like? Helen, stop being weird. I'm seeing for the first time and you expect me to be cool about it? Whoa, a plane, a huge plane. I wonder how many people can fit on that thing. Okay, um, I'll see today. What is this? It's a phone, but you can't just take it. This is a phone? All of my hard work for a screen and a case? This is an abomination! Whoa, what are these digits? You open the calculator app. Can you please give it back? Whoa, you mean this does all large number computations for you? Insane! Here's what I found on the web for Hey Siri. Oh, oh my gosh! Um... Um, show me a picture of Hedy Lamar. Hedy Lamar was oh, an Austrian-born American this is film actress. Netflix. You, you can watch TV shows and movies. Now give it back. Sorry about that. See ya. Sounds like my predictions about the internet were true. What is that? It's called an Uber. The creepy frozen yogurt guy. I'm not who you think I am. I am Percy Spencer, inventor of the microwave. I thought the company Raytheon invented the microwave during World War II. That is a myth. 
I invented the microwave, but I only got paid $2 for the patent. Hey, Percy, nerd boy, what you working on? Nothing. Yeah, right. Hey, stop. What are you going to do? Tell the teacher? <laughs> Well, looky what we got here. Looks like we caught Private Percy in mid-thought. Get out of my face, guys. What are you going to do? Tell the general? So what do you have for us, Mr. Spencer? I think that my microwave will change humanity for the better. <laughs> Here's two dollars. I want revenge on anyone who has success. Starting with you guys. Because of me, you historical figures will never be successful. I'm sorry, but that does not mean you can be a monster. Would a monster put metal and gasoline in a microwave? Yes! Well, then I guess I'm a monster. You have two minutes to save the people in the house. <laughs> this astrophysics research is killing me. Should we go? But he said, Don't you want to go home to get back to our regular bodies? For the first time in my life, I can see and hear. I am not going back. But there are five kids stuck in our bodies going through with what we had to go through. They're children. Think about that. And, and they're our friends, please. And don't worry, we'll be helping you the entire way, right guys? Yeah. Definitely. Of course. Awesome. Okay, I guess you're right. We should go. over with. When I'm finished with you, no one will remember anything you've done. Wait, we must have inspiring speeches. <clears throat> People said a woman could not fly across the Atlantic Ocean, but guess what? I did it anyway. I had the idea of Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Yes, I was a woman scientist and I was good at it too. Oh, and also I was an actor in many movies. I worked hard to invent the telephone. Look how it has evolved. iPhones? No more letters, emails, and, um, Albert, what was it called? Texting? Yes, texting and emojis. My favorite one is the kissy face. I was deaf and blind, but that didn't stop me. I wrote books and got a bachelor's degree in art. So ha. Yeah. I am known as one of the most famous scientists. I was also very silly. 
I'm sure you know of the equation E equals MC squared. That was my discovery. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> wow, how inspirational. Really quite beautiful. Now I must get my revenge. It's time to fight! The power of science! How dare you! Let me give you a piece of my mind, my boy man. Ha ha ha. Who's next? Alexander, hand me a piece of paper. Why? I'll explain later. Just give me. Take that! Give me a pencil too! Hey Percy! This is the only way to get rid of him. And that's how he made the best froyo shop in town. Done! Teddy, knock him out! I need to explain my plan! Teddy! Headbutt! Yeah! What did you do? I'll explain over here! Percy must have been brought here the same way that we were. So, to reverse it, I just wrote an essay about the original frozen yogurt guy. Now, all you have to do is break this pencil. Percy Spencer will leave that body. Got it? Got, Got it! What, what happened? I had a dream that I made the microwave. I was fully gone. It was sad. But anyway, you want some frozen yogurt? Yeah! Wait, 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 wait. Why were you writing about Percy Spencer? I wanted to buy a microwave, and I thought I should do some research. So I wrote some notes on Percy Spencer. Cool. How did you get those pencils? I found them in my attic, uh, in an old trunk with curse runes carved all over it. Okay, that's strange. Look, we'll visit your shop some other time, but right now we need to take care of those pencils. Yeah! yeah! Let's go! Let's go! Yeah! Make sure you visit my Froyo shop! Are we sure this is gonna work? Yeah, it worked on Percy. Oh no, we don't know anything about these kids. We can help, so your kid loves dogs and puppies. Your kid loves sports. Your kid hates all bugs and insects. Your kid hates sports and anything that involves his running. And your kid can't live without a phone. I didn't actually disappear. What really happened was... If only we knew what really happened to Amelia Earhart. What happened? I don't know. But I had a really weird dream about Wi-Fi. Me too. Except my dream was about the first telephone. There were no apps. It was weird. I had a dream that I was in a human calculator. LOL. I didn't have um, a weird dream at all. All I could see was, well, nothing. And I couldn't hear either. I don't remember this weekend at all. Can you I? Are you guys okay? Yeah, you guys passed out. We're fine, but do you guys know what happened this weekend? I think they are themselves. Yeah, I think so too. Maybe we shouldn't tell them what happened. Yeah, it might weird them out. Um, you guys were so tired from school, you passed out. Yeah, 
That's what really happened. <laughs> Um, maybe you should break those weird pencils? Why? Just do it! Okay. Fantastic. Percy, Percy, excuse me, Percy. What does it feel like to be a nerd boy? Oh, it's just great. Don't, just great. don't you realize I have the microphone? No, I don't. All right. <laughs> Hi, Ben. <laughs> How are you? The basement door be closed. You don't want to laugh because I'm the mustache will come keep going. <laughs>